everybody and welcome to our chair yoga practice for today. It's Claire here and I'm so excited to share this one with you. Special request from one of our beautiful teachers to do some sun salutations and one of our beautiful students to do some back care. So we'll be incorporating that into this session and I hope you really enjoy it. If you do like it, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel so more people can share in the joy of chair yoga and we can get people on chairs everywhere doing chair yoga with us. So are uh, you ready? Let's do it. Let's get started. So we're going to get started in sitting mountain. Wiggle a little bit towards the front edge of the chair. Make sure we have the sit bones feeling grounded on the seat. You might need to move your feet forward a little bit so that they sit right underneath your knees. So we have a nice right angle at the knee. And that's going to give our knees lots of support. We also want to have a hips distance apart distance. So just making sure your knees are apart a little bit, just so that you can have a straight line really from your middle toe to the knee and then to the inner hip bone. That's a really good place for you to sit. And then up nice and tall. And if you like, we can roll the shoulders a couple of times up and back and down. Just letting them move freely, it doesn't have to be too much, just however feels nice for you today. Let the hands rest on the lap, or maybe you want to have them resting upwards, downwards, or even down beside you. Fingertips might point towards the ground, and you might feel you want to open the shoulders and turn the palms forward. From here, notice how the ground beneath you really supports your feet. And it's almost like the sky above you is pulling you up towards it and you're feeling really supported and really long in your body. And if you're ready, you can soften your eyes onto something in the distance or maybe even close the eyes down completely if that works for you today. And let's just take a moment to just arrive here where we are right now in this moment. Here, I am. I am here. Just breathing now. Maybe you'd like to bring your awareness up to your breath. Just feel the breath moving within. No need to change it or anything. Just feel it. And taking another round of breath, deeply in and fully out. And then when you're ready, you can gently let the eyes open if they close and back into this space. Now from here, let's start today by just letting the hands move up towards the shoulders and we'll start to make some circles with our arms. So inhaling, bringing the elbows towards each other and exhaling out and around. And you just make those arm circles as big as you like. You don't have to be anywhere in particular. Remember, we're just warming up the shoulders, so just taking them to whatever distance feels comfortable for you. We'll slowly take them around the other way. So try to be very conscious in your movement. So every single movement is thought about and mindful rather than just going through motions. You're feeling and experiencing all the time the beautiful practice of yoga. And bring that back and down. Then from there, you can keep your elbows close to your body and open your hands, or you might like to let the elbows lift a little bit so that the it's like a cactus shape. And then we can breathe in here, and as you exhale, let the hands gently come down towards the ground, almost like a scarecrow, and then inhale, let them rise back up again. So remember, if your hands are close to you, you can do exactly the same thing, down and up. Just feeling how that moves around the shoulder, the arm bone and the shoulder joint. Move back as far as you feel comfortable. Do one more. And then open it up. And then we'll all bring our elbows in towards the side of the body, with the hands out a little bit lower uh, towards the ground. And then on the inhale breath, we'll turn the arm bone so the elbows go out and hands come to the hips. And then we'll swap that around. Just turning as so though you're pushing someone 
and it's trying to stop you. So use your muscles as you move your arms. Using our muscles happens more easily too when we slow it down and we think about what we're doing. And coming out. Beautiful. Then from there, we'll take the hands facing forward and start to move them upwards. Now you can move them to whatever height feels right for you today. You might extend your elbows, you might keep them bent. And then we'll slowly begin to bring them down again. And again, taking them up like you're lifting up a ball, the sun, or the energy, whatever you want to have between your palms. And again, slowly pressing into your feet as you lift the arms and slowly letting them come back down. Beautiful. All right. Now into the spine a little bit. Let's take a breath in to grow tall. On the exhale, breath hinge forward from your hips so you have a nice long spine and draw your shoulder blades towards each other. Lengthen the sternum forward as you inhale. And then on the exhale, let your tailbone come down. Scoop your belly in a little and lean back in your chair. Keep pressing your feet down and we'll swap between those two movements. So expanding through the chest, drawing the shoulders back and then lengthening the lower back, leaning back. And again, inhaling forward. And exhaling back. It's okay, you can drop your head, it's up to you. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back, and we'll do one more round of this. Mm, just so good. Come back into the center and take a breath in. On your exhale breath, turn your ribs around towards the right, and you slide your hand up towards your right hip. And then inhale back to the center. And on your exhale breath, turning to the left. So rotating now through the ribs. So remember, when we turn, we want to try to turn the head last. And we turn as though we're turning belly, ribs, sternum, collarbones, then face. And just doing one more to each side, getting that gorgeous rotation in. Coming back to the center. And let's do a side bend now. So we lift up nice and tall through the spine and up and over as you exhale towards the right. And then inhale, center and exhale left. So it's really important when we're warming up before the class to work our spine in all of its movements. So we did our flexion and extension, we did our rotation, and now we're doing lateral movement of the spine side to side. And that just prepares our spine for any movement that we're going to do from now on. Come back to the center and we'll inhale, let the shoulders roll up and back and let them settle down into the back. I'd like to do a little shimmy there. You can join me if you want. And then from here, let's move down to our legs. So we're going to let the knees gently fall over towards the right and then come back, sorry, the left, and then come back to the center and move to the left, uh, to the right, <laughs> the other way, and then side to side. And let's add a little arm, why not? You can go in the opposite direction. I love doing um, opposites, so before the brain. Mm. Extending as far as you can. We're only moving our legs, so keep the torso steady. Oh, we're moving our arms too, if you choose that option, but keep the the heart facing forward, the hips facing forward, and move the leg bones in the hip joint. We keep our sit bones grounded. All right, we'll come back into the center. From here, we'll take our legs forward. Now, you might come just a little bit in front of you with the toes pulling back and heels grounded, or you might want to walk a little bit further out in front. Depends on how you feel today. You can hold your chair if you like for a bit of support. I feel like that's what I want today. And then push your toes down forward towards the floor. And then pull the toes back. Let the knee bend a little bit and push the toes down. Feel when you push down, you feel these muscles switching on. And pull back and then push down. Like you're pushing through mud. Down. And up. And last one, and then up, and then you can circle your feet around one direction. Yeah, go slowly. Sometimes we just flick around our joints. Let's take care of them. Change direction. There's no rush. Ah, oh, it's nice to slow down. And then 
we'll come back into the center and bring the feet back in one at a time. Lift the heels away from the floor and then lift the balls of the feet and see that they feel centered and then release your arms out and bring them down beside you or onto your lap if you prefer and take a breath in sitting mountain. Hmm. Now from here, let's ground down into the feet. Then let our arms start to float up. Now you might keep your hands closer to your body and bring them together in front of the chest or face, or you might like to have your arms taking them out and up towards the ceiling. Now it's really up to you. Let's exhale and return our arms back to our starting position. And then inhale, press into the feet or the arms, gently float up to wherever your up is for today. It's different every time for me. So just feeling what do you need today. Exhale. Beautiful. Now this time we'll inhale. Bring the hands to your up for today and on the exhale breath, hinge forward from your hips and let your hands gently make their way down somewhere on your legs. On your inhale breath, slide the hands up the legs, draw the shoulder back, lengthen the spine and then exhale, fold back down again. Maybe palms together or on the legs if that's better for you. We'll inhale and come back to your up for today. And exhale, bring the hands down to the lap. Then tuck in your right foot underneath the chair, onto the ball of the foot, ground down through both feet. And on your exhale, breath, fold forward over your legs. Now keeping your hands on your legs or maybe bringing them up towards the shoulders or perhaps stretching them forward if that feels okay for you, as though you're pressing into the ground. Do it in whatever way works for your body. Press into both feet, take a breath in here. Breath out, relax the shoulders, and then inhale, bring yourself back up and take your foot back to sitting mountain. Now from here, ground your feet into the floor. Hands can be by the lower ribs and you can press forward as though you're pushing through mud. Push the hands forward, engage the core, press into your feet. Feel the gentle drawing in of the pit of your belly and a little opening through the shoulder blades at the back. Breathe in here, keep those feet grounded, keep that engagement of the core and bend your elbows as you hinge forward from your hips, leaning over the legs. Maybe you tuck your hands into just beside the lower ribs. Rib cage in at the front and head in line with the spine. Take a breath in. <coughs> Excuse me. And then when you're ready, draw your shoulder blades towards each other, lengthen your sternum forward and open up the chest. Another breath into the front of the body and return to that neutral spine and draw those ribs back in and then from there press yourself back up again. Now take your right leg out in front to the heel on the ground. You can stay with one leg or maybe both legs will go out in front. Hands could be on the lap up towards the shoulders. Breathe in and as you exhale hinge forward towards your legs but keep that spine neutral. Either keep your hands where they are or maybe explore bringing them forward or perhaps upwards towards the sky. Now pull the hands back as we are pressing into the wall in front of you and pull the toes back, flare your toes out, spread your toes. Round the heels down, push back the body with your heels. Feel how that supports your spine. Take another breath in here. Exhale out. And then slowly press yourself back up as you inhale. Walk your feet back in. And this time, take your left leg underneath the chair onto the ball of the foot. Hands can again be on the sides. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, fold forward over your legs. Push with both feet. Keep your hands where they are. Or maybe take them to the shoulders. Or maybe reach them forward in front of you. Keep the shoulders pressing back, keep the sternum lifted a little, but the rib cage in. So beautiful neutral spine. Take another breath, back leg strong. And the inhale breath coming up from there and bringing your leg back to sitting mountain. Take a breath in, land. Exhale to fold over your leg, slide down to wherever feels comfortable. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale to fold down. And then inhale to rise up. You can let your arms come out and up if that feels nice to you. Remember your up for today. And then exhale to bring your hands to your heart. Take a breath. We'll do 
that again a little bit more flowing this time. So just remember that you can always choose your options. The closer you leave your hands to your body, the lighter they're going to feel. So go to your places for today. Let's inhale. We'll start and lift the arms up to our up for today. The exhale breath, let's fold forward over the legs. And inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale to fold down. Inhale to rise all the way back to your up for today. Bring your hands to your place, legs, shoulders, and tuck in your left leg under the chair. Take a breath in. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Either keep your hands on your legs or shoulders or press them forward. And then inhale, press yourself back up. Ground your feet into the floor. Engage your core and press your hands into the wall in front of you. Take a big breath into the upper back. And as you exhale, draw the hands in towards the lower ribs as you hinge forward from the hips. Inhale, send the sternum forward. Draw the shoulders back. And exhale, return to that neutral position. Inhale, press yourself back up. Maybe the hands go back out in front again. And you might even keep them there and place them back on your legs. Take your left leg, then your right leg in front. Breathe in. And as you exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Find your place. Remember, they could be legs, shoulders, or somewhere out in front or upwards. And take a couple of breaths here. Next inhale, we'll come back up, walk the feet back in and tuck in that right leg under the chair, breathe in and then exhale, fold forward, maybe the hands change, shoulders or out in front. Inhale, we'll press back up, ground the feet into the floor and on the exhale breath, fold forward over the legs to your place, inhale to lift up and exhale to fold. And then inhale to rise up to your up for today, bringing your hands to your heart center and gently taking a breath here. And then bringing your hands down to your lap, maybe beside you, Tadasana. When you're ready, just gently bringing your hands to your lap. Take a breath. And then taking your left foot and leaving your left foot connected to the earth, let's take the right knee out towards the side. And you might keep it where it is, or perhaps you'd like to bring it in a little closer. Perhaps you'd like to cross it over, pull the toes back. Perhaps you'd like to lift it up and take it up onto the side. Whatever works for you, ground down into the bottom of your foot. And then either keep your hands as they are, press into that bottom foot on the ground, or maybe bring them to your heart center. Or perhaps rest one hand on the foot, one hand on the knee. If your legs are, remember the leg might be crossed over at the ankle, which is absolutely fine as well. You can rest on your thighs in that case. And take a breath in here, and as you exhale, folding out of the hips, hinging from the hips to come forward. Now some People might like to go further forward and down. Other people would like to stay up tall. And for some people, sitting upright is enough of a stretch. So just feel, because we don't want to go into overstretching, how can we find that place that feels like a stretch, but it feels comfortable at the same time, where we can breathe? All right, take another beautiful breath here. And inhale slowly. Press yourself back up and gently unravel that leg from the other leg. Ground that one down to the floor and start to move that left leg. Maybe it comes out in a bit across or up on top and it might be different one side to the other, right? You can see my knees, one is up here and the other one is down here. So I'm very different side to side and we all will be. Flex that foot if you do bring the foot up or even across the ankle. And then we'll take a breath. You can have your hands on your thighs, at your heart, or resting gently on the foot and the knee. Take a breath, and as you exhale from the hips, folding forward, and it feels so different folding forward on this side. For me, again, going to wherever feels right, but I prefer to keep a really nice neutral spine. If you choose to roll forward, up and over, keeping space in the front of the spine. Bottom knee facing forward and breath flowing being your guide 
as to how far to take it today. And the next inhale breath, just gently returning back up from there. Let's unravel the leg and we'll bring it back down, sitting mountain. Take a breath here. And a breath out. Beautiful. Now, just bringing your feet out a little wider, take your knees in towards each other. And you're welcome to stay with doing just the legs here, or you might want to bring your arms up and take hold of one uh, elbow into the other, or maybe wrap your arms around your shoulders. It doesn't matter either way, you'll still be able to do this one. If you want, you can close your eyes down here, relax the shoulders, let them soften wherever you are. If you can relax a little into all the places that you don't need to use right now. So that might be, uh, let's see, the front edge of your hips, even a little into the belly, the front of the chest, face. I'm just simply going to stay here now, just for one minute. What we're doing as we sit here is offering a sense of um, back relief by allowing the muscles that normally switch on too much when we have challenges with our upper back, lower back, in this position, they have an opportunity to soften and relax, to slacken. This is a technique I learned when I did a course with Lakshmi and Lee Albert, Kripalu in Massachusetts. And it's called IPT, which is Integrated Positional Therapy. It's really amazing or pain relief in the body. So breathing here is all you need to do in order for that slackening to happen. A minute is a good amount of time to allow our muscle memory to kick in and remember what we're doing. It's a minimum of a minute. Take another few breaths here. And then when you're ready to just really, really slowly, so we don't shock the body, let's release through the arms, let's release through the legs and we'll bring them back gently to sitting mountain. And just take a little breath here. Breath out. And just bring your hands back towards your side creases or on your hips and just let the sternum lift up. You might even take your hands back and down. You might like to lift them up a little bit, just not too much of a harsh stretch, but just a gentle opening for the chest for a breath. And then releasing that and taking a breath in. And then a gentle forward fold. You can widen your legs if you'd like to. Just coming forward, maybe hands, forearms, or somewhere else down your legs if you want. Just taking a breath here. And we'll hold this just for another couple of breaths. And then when you're ready, just climbing back up again. Sitting tall, either staying as you are here, maybe sitting back in the chair a little if you'd like to. And because of time, I always do a really short shavasana in these classes, but if you want to, you're welcome to stay here as long as you like after we finish. So please feel free to stay if that feels right for you. But for now, we'll spend a moment just absorbing all the lessons that we've just learned, absorbing all of the teachings of the class into our system. So let everything soften in your physical body. No more work to do. Relaxing through the shoulders, relaxing through the face, every part of you just softening and relaxing. Letting the thought 
as the emotions soften. Breath. Just sitting for a moment with nothing to do but just sit here. Just resting. Let you know when it's time to return. staying here if you'd like to stay longer or if you're ready start to bring your awareness back to your breath and follow your breath back into your body and then when you feel ready you can start to move your fingers your toes any other movements you like to make your way back into sitting mountain just take your time Feel how that practice was for you when you arrived there. Notice how you feel. No right or wrong answers, just is what it is. And then when you feel ready to bringing your hands up towards your heart center, joining the palms together, if that's okay. And let's take a moment to thank ourselves, to thank our bodies, our beautiful bodies for supporting us and loving us today. And we love you back. Thank our breath for giving us life. We love you, breath. Thank each other for supporting each other today, loving each other, and sending light to each other. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me in that Che Yoga practice today. I trust that you enjoyed it. Please do let me know uh, any comments or feedback, anything you'd like to see in these classes in the comments below. Absolutely love hearing from you. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to next time when we're together on the chair doing Che Yoga. Have a beautiful day ahead and I will see you then. Bye for now.